Hey guys, this is Joshua Sagana. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a model that can be texture mapped and put into Game Maker and viewed in it. So I'm going to start by importing one of the models my friends made. It's a uh, base concept and kind of looks like a gazebo, but nonetheless, this is it. Um, so what we gotta do first is open it in UV mapping by right clicking. I'm using Wings 3D but you should have something similar to that in your program. So we're going to right click if we're segment by projection. This will distribute all the faces into separate like uh, parts. Then we can continue unfolding. So based on the segmenting by projection we have all the parts split up here. Um, so if I shrink this here, we can, for example, we can look at how the walls are positioned on the texture mapping. And if we look on here, we can see the walls right here. So what I'm going to do is, since the walls are important, I'm going to put them out to the side here. And then I'm going to move these out of the way. My bad. Move them out of the way. Just organize them in a different spot so that the uh, walls can all be in one spot. So then I'll take each one and drag them into the a place near each other. So that one, that one. Ah, keep deselecting for some reason. That one can go there. This one can go here. I think when I scroll, yeah, the view is getting messed up as I scroll. Whatever, it's just a glitch. So we put our four wall pieces here. And if we look on our model, those get highlighted. So, basically, we know that all these parts are different parts of our model. Like, for example, if we click this, this kind of looks like the top of the gazebo. And it is, as we can see. It gets all highlighted. Now. If we want to select a part to individually look at, we can highlight like the top here, this cone-shaped thing. And when we look over here on our texture map, we can see that these four parts are all highlighted here. Very cool. So, we know these are the tops. This is the gazebo thing. We have our uh, walls. Um, we can look at other stuff by clicking and looking or vice versa. And we can see how different parts affect different things. So it's very cool. Now, how to turn this into easy texture mapping is pretty simple. In Wings 3D, at least. We right click, push create texture. This will create a texture that maps out all our parts like it is right now. We can choose an image size. I'll just go 256 by 256. But if you want one with way more detail, you can always um, choose a higher resolution one. So you can put a lot more depth into it. So, Wings 3D converted this into a, its own little texture here. And if we look at the mo results model, whoa! It's all texture mapped out for us based on the texture mapping. Very cool. Now we want to export it. Oops. Export. Swap Y and Z axes because GameMaker use, uses Z on the top and Y over here, not the opposite. And right here, there's default texture file type. It'll be Targa. I would just change it to PNG. It doesn't really matter as long as you have an imaging editing program that supports it. I'm going to call this base and save it in there. So we're good to go on that. Um, the next part we have to do is open GIMP or whatever program you have to image edit because we're going to edit the texture mapping there. <coughs> da, da, da. So, where it'll be saved in wherever you saved your model and it will always it will have a an AUV at the end of the image types. Like this is cube 7 AUV. So, as we can see in the preview, it shows up there, so we know this is ours. There's our uh, image map, or texture map. So, 
It's very simple now. We just fill in colors. Like, I can make the walls red. It's very cool. And I select these. I can make the walls completely red. It's going to be a little inaccurate, but this is just a test, so you know. So I'll, call, I'll just take color all those red. Um, the pyramid, the top of the gazebo thing, I kind of want yellowish. So I'll make it yellow. Again, it's a little inaccurate right now, but, you know, whatever. That's yellow. And uh, the bottom, I want it to be a darkish yellow. So this is the bottom, this is the underside of it. I'll make it darkish yellow. So I'll do that. And uh, then the bottom, I guess, I'll color it blue. Hmm, what else? Basically, as you can see, I'm just coloring the parts that I want to whatever color I want. But they don't have to be colors, they can just be images, words, whatever you want. Um, the rest I'm just going to color in purple, but, you know, I'm just showing this as an example. I don't really care what they are. Um, so yeah, basically, that's how texture mapping will work. You just do this. And it's really neat. If I go like this, like that. I don't know. I'm just gradienting them for fun. Gradienting? Is that a word? I don't know. Alright, and then I guess I'll just color those cone things in real quick. With. hmm. slightish pinkish color. Do do do. Ah, I still have the selection. Okay. Do do do. Again, you'll probably spend more time on this than I am, but I just have to make this video kind of shortish, and you probably don't care. You just want to see what to do. So, just finishing this up. Sound effects of doom. Alright, so then I get to save this. Basic texture mapping. And actually, I'll color in the background real quick. Make it bright blue. Done. Done. Okay, now save. So, that's what it'll look like, but you can make it whatever colors you want. So now we have to use... Oh, crud. Where's my folder? Okay, marzipan. Marzipan, um... This is a converter from object to, uh... Game Maker 6.1 script, so open base, because that's what we named it, and it'll appear in here. The most important thing you have to do is you have to click settings and flip the UV map vertically. Apparently it's ups or upside down, I guess, so you have to flip it. Then we can just simply save it wherever. I'm going to call this base. Yes. Yes. I'll call the ID base. And once that's done processing, we can put it into our Game Maker program. So, I made a program that views models pretty easily. So, I guess I'll open that up. Oops. Right, model Displayer. So, all we need now is our model's uh, model code. You have a base 1 model 0, or wait. Base model 1, base model 0, and a base model. So you want to open up the base model because it has both. Then you want to paste it into your script here. We have base 0 and base 1 as our model names, so we'll change those. Our background get texture is background 0. So we just have to go in background 0, push load background, and then load our own texture mapping here. Ta da! And then we save. If everything went out, turned out right, we should get this awesome texture mapped model. Whoa, ta-da! It looks kind of crappy, but that's because I left some stu white stuff. But other than that, see, we colored this blue. Ooh, the gradient makes it look interesting. Anyways, we made all this different stuff. 
It looks really cool. So as you can see, texture mapping is not really that hard. It just takes some time to look at the model and, you know, all that. So, yeah. Pretty awesome, I guess. And that's it for my video. Um, this was made for my some of my friends to see, so if you learned something from it and you aren't really my friend, then cool, I must have taught you something. <laughs>